Aha. So, obviously, separate transaction engine now. The um, it was a bit of a pain because even though I got all the bolts out, it still won't come off properly. As you can see, it's a standard spline shaft into what would have been the clutch, but it's not a clutch. It's just a flywheel. <coughs> Hefty as well. Mm hmm. But nonetheless, it appears if you have an engine, um, that you can fit on it, you can actually put a Prius transaction on any transaxle on anything because it's just standard spine shaft. Anyway, so these little pegs here, one there, and one there okay so this is the back of the engine over this side here uh, exhaust port okay and um, they're really difficult because they're kind of more like they're driven in a little bit very close fit the holes there sorry there and here <clears throat> so even though the thing was actually fully unbolted it still didn't like coming off too easy. Okay, we're at the front of the engine now, and that's the front of the transaxle. Yeah, it was a bit of a pain to get off, but nonetheless, we got it off. It just required a bit of jiggling and stuff. Perhaps a bit of um, just chuck a bit of WD-40 down where they're joined. It might help it come off easier. But there we go. See. Okay, so, that's the bit I want, that's the bit that's going in the bin, don't need it. In there, there are two motors, and I don't know how, but one of them's coming out, and it's on this side of it, it's kind of this section here, in there somewhere. That looks distinctly like um, a um, the thing there, that sort of rounded section there. Looks distinctly like a, a torque converter, doesn't it? I don't think it is, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Yeah, but that that's what I want. This this side here, the the actual transaxle um, shaft. This one here. Okay, which is solid. Oh, great. Um, <coughs> is uh, that goes into the uh, gearbox? And there's a gearbox behind there which is a planetary gearbox and I think what it is is that the motor is kind of just here right and it goes through the center of the motor into what is an epicyclic gearbox about here somewhere and what we need to do is take that motor out <coughs> uh, somehow and fashion a shaft for it so that it can go onto that beastie down there so that will then become the power unit okay um, as you can see, <laughs> it's uh, it isn't just going to go straight on. <laughs> this is the clutch off the old one, and there's a, a bit of a size difference there, <laughs> just a tad. Yeah. Oh, all right, let's put it up against that, and you can see that's the 650. It's a 1300. You can see there, obviously, one's much bigger than the other. But I can take this off, you know, or, or nick that shaft, I don't know. Because it's not fastened to the crankshaft, obviously. I'm saying obviously, I'm assuming it isn't. It might actually be, but I doubt it, because they usually aren't, are they? Uh, anyway, there you go. We are separated.